Well, happy Christmas. It's Christmas 2021 where I am. I don't care where you are. It's happy Christmas here. Because Symphobia has been updated to... Symphobia 1 has been updated to 2.0 by Project Sam as a little Christmas gift. I bought it in 2009. It's 12 years later. Still being updated. How cool is that? Uh, I don't know anyone else that's still updating stuff after 12 years for free. Um, so... I just want to quickly say for those who have had Symphobia as long as I have, uh, when you do the updates, about one gigabyte update, it won't work and it won't find any samples. And that's because it's looking for WAV samples, which was what they used in the olden days when the internet was in black and white. Um, and since then, they changed to the compressed format, which is the same quality, but is uh, lower in size. All you've got to do, don't panic, don't panic. All you've got to do is go to battery save uh, which is under this menu in contact, batch resave. Follow it when it says, I can't find 10,000 samples, don't scream. All you do is you click the box that says search for alternate file types, and then it will, then you'll be in business. Uh, so what is it? Well, the first thing to say is what it isn't, because most of, all of, all of this is exactly the same as it's always been. Most of the library is untouched. In fact, all of the library is untouched. So what's the update? It's one new patch here. It's Symphobia all in one. And boom, we're off the screen. It uses that big new contact format. And it's only one patch, but it does have everything in it. It's the entire library. So if you go here, let's load the string section. Let's look what we're dealing with. So here we have, you have sustain, we have staccato, and you have the different kinds of staccato, staccatissimo, spiccato, spiccato short, all that's there. And you can layer things together. If you press shift, you can have those together if you want if you uh, control click you unload that's right so when it grayed out it's unloaded from ram so if you need to save space um we have the let's go back to sustain let if you just move this fader you might hear it's going wrong so so let's go to the close mic it's gone oh no what a disaster all that's happened is it hasn't loaded that into ram yet now it has and so first time you touch that it will do that, and then after that, you'll be fine, and you can switch, you can mix between close and stage. And you can do it old school with the, you know, relative balance like that if you want. Um, you can change the dynamics, you can say if it's gonna key switch or use CCs. And you've got this map section that says where the sample comes to and from. We'll come back to this, uh, an effect, so you can add delay if you really want. Uh, um, you can, uh, it's an EQ, stereo image, saturation, blah, it's all there. Um, and some global settings for you there as well. So that's the sort of basics of what you get here. Um, one other thing to quickly mention is you can search by articulations and you will find this thing called Adaptive Sync, which uh, Project Sam introduced in uh, Symphobia, uh, Pandora, Symphobia 4 that was. And that means that if you just start your timeline of your DAW, it's gonna sync to being seven beats, this thing. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and bang. I counted it wrong, but it was right. Uh, so I can change it to four, which my brain can cope with. Two, three, four, out. Or anything in between, you know, six, uh, whatever it is. Three, four, five, six, out. So that's lovely. And you've got, what have you got there? You've got uh, your crescendos, your sfacendos, your uh, runs, your risers. So all those, I'll tell, please stop that. I know you're all screaming at me. Um, so those are sort of the basics. The real fun, I think, happens with uh, the multis. So what you can do is you've got all these slots at the bottom to stack things up. So if I load, this is an old classic, Are You Not Entertained? Um, I've got strings, brass, um, G, C. That's Grand Casa, I believe. Uh, cellos and double basses. And they're all together to make this sort of, you know, this great big massive thing. Uh, and if you unlock it, then you have control over every single element of that. And if you want your brass, we just solo the brass. If you actually want that to be an octave lower, um, you can do that. That's fine. You just actually, you need to raise up the keyboard, 12. Um, there you go. You can actually add a fifth. 
or anything you want by stacking notes. And that's all individual for each thing. You can set the low velocity, the high velocity as an offset so that it weights things differently. You've got loads of control. Um, if I was being picky, it would have been super nice to be able to ramp it in. If you have like low brass down the bottom of the keyboard and high brass up the other, it'd be nice to crossfade those. I haven't found a way of doing that, but pretty much everything else is there. Um, the Some of the multis are here, but they're not all here. So for example, one of my, let's just get rid of that for a moment. One of my old favorites is Bigger Than Life. It's still there in the library. It's still in the multi section. Um, it's... Uh, so yeah, it's there, but I've always l would loved a version that you can uh, have the dynamics, you can control the dynamics for it, which at the moment don't work and maybe do a few other tweaks. Well, now we can. And even though they haven't done it, it's not stop me, is it? So I did a little snip thing earlier. That's, that's just a screen grab of the elements that's in there in case I forget because I've got brain like a sieve. Uh, if I now reset the multi, Let's see how long this takes to actually, you know, recreate that. And we start, well, you can look, look, you can search by articulation type. These are sustain patches, so this will be nice and quick. Um, there's our sustain, great, what's next? You click a plus arrow for a new one. Um, it was the strings and brass and timpani. Uh, why can't, because I haven't clicked that. There it is, strings, brass and timpani, so now, that coming in great next wins sustain i'm pretty sure in this patch you know they shifted it they shifted it up so i need to move it down the keyboard so for the same note it's playing a not too high bit less of it and we're there what was the last thing oh yeah low string octave and synth now, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they renamed that. This is the cellos and double bass. Low strings they renamed uh, that sustains it. Octaves. Um, and it had a synth with it. There it is, sustains with bass synth. Um, and now I have dynamic control over it, hey, which is great. But of course, I don't have to stop there, do I? I can... I can do this thing. I can shift click the marcatos and that will just give it a bit more, just that nice edge at the front. And you know, as I'm this bit with the timpani, I want to be able to still hammer that on the keyboard. So I, I kind of just, just on that alone, I can go uh, velocity. So that's key velocity. And so now I have a little bit of both. I can still kind of do my. Quiet, but then I can whack it I need to get the foot pedal because I run out of hands again and it's always very coarse this foot pedal thing I don't really like using it but what else are you going to do when you got both hands in you can't you can't have a third hand can you so um... and so I can just mold that and I can add any other elements I want to it and just create that as a, have that as a starting point. And you can just save that so that I can now save that as a snapshot there. Please enter an overview, what should we call it? Uh, bigger than guy life. There we are, it's done. So I can just load that at any time. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of the update really and what a lovely thing it is what i would say is that if you're building say a template and you're having a, you know your short strings and your this that and the other you might want to just use the old version all these other patches are still there because this thing brilliant though it is it does use a lot of ram this is about a gigabyte to load this thing before you've done much with uh, with samples so all that old stuff is still useful i've actually got patches that go right back to those um those early ones in my legacy folder and so they're really light and so if i'm just building a template i still sometimes even go back to them but if you're just creating something bespoke from scratch then this is the dog's business is that even a phrase i don't think it is um but it 
sort of sounds like it. Oh, that's no, that's, let's just move on. Um, there we go. Uh, happy Christmas, one and all. Thank you, thank you, Santa, Santa, Santa Project Sam Santa, for uh, for doing this. And I'll see you on another video soon. Goodbye.